Keith Hafner here. How's it going? All my life, I've had paper and pen with me at all times um, because I'm, I'm constantly writing. And in most of my life, that took the form of the uh, pad and the Sharpie pen. In recent years, I do more writing on the tablet. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, but I have always been a huge list maker. And I don't mean just my to-do list. I have always tried to list things that empower me and propel me forward uh, from where I am to where I want to be. And I want, you, I want to mention three lists in particular uh, that I think are pretty powerful. And if you get in the habit of directing your attention and writing these things down, I think you'll be glad you did. The first list is the list of things that you have been procrastinating. Uh, and I encourage you to be brutally honest in this and to develop that list. The second list is a list of things that you're grateful for. And again, I encourage you to really dig deep in this. And you might right off the top of your head think of you know two or three or four things that you're grateful for. But I encourage you to sometimes spend a little time on this and expand that list to 20 or 30 or 80 or 100 things. And I think you'll like the state of gratitude that it puts you in. The third thing is, is sort of connected to these, and it, I think you'll, you'll see the power in this once you start doing it, and that is just to list the things at which you could be doing better. It might be relationships, it might be your health and fitness, it might be things that are going on inside your family. The thing about making lists is that it causes you to think in very specific ways and in things that are especially relevant to what you've got going on in your life. Give it a try.